Welcome to SharePoint Spaces step by step series. Myself, Dhruvin Shah, and you are watching third part of this series. In this series, I am going to talk about how we can add a 3D object to a SharePoint space. So now, let's get started. So this is my SharePoint space page. Now, first click on edit the page. Now, once we edit the page, we would be having plus icon over here. Click on the circle plus icon from here. Here you will be seeing different web parts. From here, select 3D object web part. Once you click on 3D object web part, uh, you will be having this type of hover icon on your floor. Click on anywhere on the floor to place your web part. So let's say I want to place my web part at this position. I am clicking on here. This will open file picker for me. You can upload any of the 3D object using this file picker option. Now I am using out of the box image 3D catalog over here. So I am just clicking on 3D catalog. I am uh, I am searching for the image that I need. I need bicycle. So I am just clicking on bicycle from here and click on insert. So this will add the bicycle over here. Now, when we click on it, we would be having different properties to configure over here. We almost know every property because this is common for all the web part almost. So let me talk about the properties over here. So here the first property is the angle property. So we can change the angle of our 3D object using here. Second one is distance from user. We can change the uh, distance how far it is from the end user when they are watching it from the uh, VR box. So uh, it will be uh, setting using this property. Now height, let's if we want to increase the size, we can increase it using this one. X property, if we want to change the X axis, we can change it using this. Y axis, let's change the Y axis for our bicycle. We can also change the Y axis using uh, by sell, by drag and drop as well like uh, this is my x axis and this is the y axis we can change it use it like this as well as let's say if we want to change z axis we can also change that same way if we want to increase the scale we can use this property scale property so these are all the basic configuration property of here now let's check the web part configuration property click on the pencil icon this will open these properties to us the first property is changing the image if you want to change image we can change using this option detail if you want to or uh, put any alternative text you can use this property podium if you want to show the podium at the bottom like this you can use this property you can also change the height of your podium based on this then action action property uh, by default when we add the object it will show the inspect property so let's check the inspect property first and then i will explain you different other action property as well so now let's uh, save and publish these changes for 3d object so you can see that when i publish the page it is looking like this now whenever i click on that action property has been called to inspect the bicycle so you can see that when I, whenever i click i can check all the dimension available for my bicycle all right so this is how my uh, this is how we can uh, play with our 3d object this looks really awesome uh, so actually this web part is useful you know whenever we have some product showcase and something like that and we want to check each of the dimension of our object at that time this web part is very useful to us all right, so this is how we can configure our 3D object web part. Now let me talk about the action property. Yep, so let me edit my page again. And now let's check the edit property. So let's select our web part and go to the web part configuration property. Now here on trigger, we have the other actions as well. Let's say for an example, if I want to remove this inspect action and then I can add any action. Let's say for an example, uh, if I want to add uh, some another space on top of it, 
I can also change that. Let's say for an example, I have one another page, one another space page over here and I want to link over uh, whenever I click on bicycle, it should redirect me to that link. So we can configure that property as well. So now let's check and uh, let's republish and check that property. So let me click on this bicycle. So now uh, I clicked on here and it is redirecting me to the another space page over here right now let's talk about some other properties uh, in the action so let me edit the page again select your web part configure your property now let me remove this property let's say for an example if i want to link to a page or item so whenever i click on um, it it will show the other uh, link pages or you can add any custom link as well like https so sometimes there are situation like uh, there is a product purchase site as well so you can redirect them to like uh, any shopping site to purchase that product or something like that so you can configure that action as well one more thing let's say for an example this is my bicycle let's say and whenever i add it over here we have one more action like play and audio so uh, like, let's say for an example if you want to add the any audio related your description of a product you can add that as well right so these are all the th actions that are available for a 3d object web part now let me add some of the more 3d objects as well so let's say for an example i want to add a 3d object like a football image so uh, you can place anywhere your cursor then you can go to 3d catalog and let's say here we have different categories like sports and here we have a icon like this so once we add that icon over here you can see that the football is playing like this yep so this is one another example of 3d object now let's add some more example uh, let me talk about some uh, biological example like sometimes for a study purpose for a medical organization they wanted to learn like a uh, 3d uh, 3d uh, body structure or uh, reptile animals and etc at that time also this is this concept is really useful so let's say for an example uh, somewhere i have seen an example of biology and in biology let's say this is one sample i'm adding right let's say i am adding this skeleton over here let me add something like this And now let's configure its other properties with this one and let's republish our web part so you can see that this is my skeleton structure I'm clicking on that and I am moving this skeleton like this I click on this skeleton and I can uh, I can rotate 360 degree and check out each of the component of my skeleton and I, this will increase the better learning experience for the end users as well as in headset it will really look more clarity more awesomeness so this is how we can configure and add 3d object web part hope this is clear for you now if you have any suggestion or any question, you can add your question in the comment section.
If you are for the first time to my channel, make sure you hit subscribe and press the bell notification to never miss any updates from my channel. Stay connected with me on Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter and WhatsApp. If you wish to receive the daily notification from my channel, just click on this link. It will be redirecting you to this form. Fill the form and you will be receiving daily notification from my WhatsApp channel. Stay connected with me. Have a great day. Goodbye.